you guys my name is Olivia thanks for joining me for another video uh, if you're new to my channel I do homeschool things and I do lifestyle things and uh, today is gonna be another homeschooling video I have two homeschooled kiddos I have a nine-year-old son and a five-year-old daughter and I'm gonna talk to you about treehouse schoolhouse nature study today this has a pretty decent traction in the like Instagram homeschool world. It does not have as much of a face here on YouTube that I've seen. Maybe I just haven't popped into the right circles or what have you, or like found them through my searching on YouTube, but I don't see it a whole lot. One is that it's newer. Lindsay, the owner of Treehouse Schoolhouse, she just put this together and released it last year. So autumn was the very first season that she released and it released last, maybe end of July, beginning of August and I purchased it and it was lovely. And then I purchased other seasons. So um, I just don't feel like uh, it has enough of a presence here on YouTube yet. And so I would like to remedy that a little bit. First of all, when you say nature study, there's a couple other curriculums out there that also do nature studies, and this is unlike the other ones, really. Uh, it's different. It encompasses so many different subjects, and it's laid out so beautifully, and it's uh, like easy to use in your home, too. It's not a bunch of like you know, going out or doing experiments or what have you if you don't want to do that, experiment-wise. I don't think there are any in any of the seasons, but you know, it does encourage you like if you can get out and go out and do a nature walk, like maybe look at this or maybe look at that or what have you. Um, this can be used like throughout all of elementary age. And I had a pre-K student this last year and my son was a third grader last year and they both loved it and they loved all parts of it. And you can make it as accessible as you need to for the different ages. And I know one thing um, that some people struggle with is when you have multiple littles, like say like first grade down through kindergarten and pre-K and preschool and even toddler. And there's so much to this curriculum that can be helpful for those that are in uh, that phase of life because everything is just it's so whimsy and uh, fun and playful and there's hands-on stuff if you are a family that likes hands-on stuff obviously I suggest with any curriculum to take what you love and do what you love and use what you love and what doesn't work for you just don't do it so I'm going to give you a flip through of autumn today um, I bought this as it came out um, she had an option to, she has this for all of them. She has a hard copy printed option. When you buy the hard copy printed option, you also get the PDF so that you can make copies for your family of like the copy work section or what have you, uh, or the student work sheets and that sort of thing, or whatever you want multiple copies of. And she also has just a PDF option. She has all four of the seasons out now. So you can purchase at a bundle price all four seasons instead of buying separately. Or if you just want to buy one season and see how it works. And she has those available on her website. I'm going to be linking her website down below. So what this is as far as the nature study is. Uh, for each season, there's 12 or 13 weeks that she has for each one. For each week, it's a different theme to tag along with that season. In the fall, you're going to have uh, an apple week. And apples come into season late summer, early fall. And then um, in the late fall, there's also um, some like tracking and some fungi and in the winter there's like shadows and there is a snow and a maple syrup week anyway so many fun topics and subjects that are packed full of singing and poems and hand rhymes and picture study so that's what I mean about how much I love this curriculum it really encompasses so many parts of some homeschool topics that are kind of hard to curate on your own. Um, there are often 
curriculums out there that include like a picture study with it. But sometimes if you don't, if you're not interested in buying that curriculum and you're kind of out of a picture study and then you have to put one together on your own, again, for a lot of families, that's probably not a big deal. And for some families, that's just another thing and another step and another part of planning that maybe you just don't have time or the wherewithal to take care of it. So they have that in uh, Treehouse Schoolhouse Nature Study. Every week you're, for all the topics, there's going to be a poem that goes along with that topic. There's going to be a really sweet, fun song. My kids still like sing out loud some of the silly or fun songs that they heard this last year when we were using Treehouse Nature Study. Uh, she also includes a Spotify playlist for each season with all of those songs or she just lists it so you can find the song on your own. There's also a hand rhyme that goes along with each week which are really fun especially for your littles who are learning gross motor skills and it's such a the hand rhymes are such a good way to start learning like memory work because you have the hand motions that go along with the words and those are super fun. She has a YouTube channel and uh, she plays out, acts out, demonstrates the hand rhyme for each week of each season. There is a beautiful picture that goes along with each week as well. So that if it's something of interest to you, you can do picture study also. And again, those pictures are themed for the topic of each week of each season and then there is a book list that she has put together both a fiction book list and a non-fiction book list that has to do with each theme so that you have some living books and some fun literature picture books to look through to dive deeper into each topic for each season i have found that most of those books are accessible when i look online on my library and I can look ahead for a couple of weeks and then check out a couple of weeks worth. I also have purchased some of the books from each week of both the nonfiction and the fiction lists. Obviously, whatever you have time for, all the books that we've read so far are sweet and funny, um, but purchasing books can get pricey. So I have been able to find 90% of them from our library. If you don't even have time to get hard copies of those, there are read alouds on YouTube that you can type in the book and there's a lot of accounts that will do read alouds for picture books and I have found several of them from these lists on YouTube as well. I have plans once the school year starts to actually do like what our morning time routine is and what we do uh, as a family for our family subjects in the morning and I have plans to show you how I incorporate this into that. That won't be included in this video because we have not officially started uh, like our school year, our core school years. We have not officially started our core school year yet. So some of the weeks have recipes that go along with them. Some of the weeks have crafts that they suggest to go along with them. Some of the weeks have worksheets for you to fill out. There's often diagrams of examples and pictures of things for the different week. It's so fun to follow along with and uh, my older son I know will still be participating uh, when we start this up again in the fall time. He loves the books, he loves the songs, the poems are fun. There's also a copy work that goes along for a part of the poem included for each week as well and I have some magnetic blackboards and uh, kind of like a big whiteboard that we use and I just... Uh, pin them up with a magnet on those different boards to display each week. And I know some people love to do the morning menu thing where they will put a copy of the different parts that you go along through for each of their kiddos in the menu. There are so many ways to utilize this and I've seen a lot on YouTube of co-ops using this together. Um, this would be so perfect for a preschool. I would have to say, unless you want to also include a phonics program, but not everybody um, feels like a phonics program is necessary for preschool age kids and they wait until kindergarten. I, obviously that's, you know, like up to you, up to the family or what have you, but I could see this being a complete preschool curriculum in and of itself. There's books, so you have the literature part, you have the memory part and the songs and the hand rhymes and 
knowing and learning good songs and poems, I feel, builds literacy in and of itself as well. There are um, art encouraging pieces to it as well. Uh, you have the picture study, you have songs, and it really is such a really pretty, fun, full program for elementary and preschool age kids. I am making this video not just because it like just came to me that I realized I wasn't seeing a whole lot of it on YouTube, but also because I have uh, you know, some girlfriends in my real life that are like, I kind of wanted to add in something else that wasn't, you know, that that's just like a little bit different. And I was explaining this curriculum to them and a lot of them are interested in it. And so I was giving examples and sending examples. And so maybe this can help some of you guys as well. You feel as if you are also missing something um, like that's fun or playful or a little bit extra in your guys's homeschool as well. All right, I'm gonna dive into this flip through before I lose the light here. And yeah, let's just jump into it. All right, so here is the Autumn Tree House Nature Study. And I got the hard printed version and it's on this really nice paper. It's not too slick, but it's pretty heavy duty. So I'm going to give you a little bit of what she includes in the beginning. She welcomes you and for each of the components that she includes in this nature study, she gives you a little example of how to implement it or what she has included. Uh, she kind of gives an example of how to do picture study and that sort of thing. Obviously, read through this and use it if you want to or use the different topics however you feel like using it. She has tips for preschool and kindergarten, early elementary, and also with upper elementary and middle school for how you could use this. She has an example of using it within um, a co-op or a nature group. She has some example question examples of, of how to guide your kiddos through a picture study if you have not done one before and if you feel you need a little bit of support. She suggests keeping a nature study notebook guide we did not do this, but she includes this for those that would like to have some sort of um, uh, memories to look through and look back on or a place to keep all of your work in one place. And she explains how to do that for level one, two, three, and four age groups. So when I purchased this uh, in the late summer last year of 2021, she had a curriculum calendar for the different weeks that these topics could line up on. I don't know what she has included now, like if you purchase it, but this is a layout of what the topic is for all of these 13 weeks of the autumn season of uh, Treehouse Schoolhouse, The Nature Study. As you can see, there's a really big spread of the different topics that you'll be going over with just this season. All of the seasons combined, you touch on so many fun things. I'm gonna give you an example of the week five fungi. This was one of my kiddos' favorite weeks of autumn. The kids still <laughs> listen to the folk song and ask to listen to the folk song and sing it a little bit. Uh, it was so cute. So at the beginning of each of the weeks, you're gonna kind of have this layout where it's gonna include what your folk song is, the hand rhyme is, the poem, the picture study, and then the nature study book basket, obviously include as many or as little of these as you want. I just have circled the ones that I have in my home library. I also now have this, so I'm gonna need to circle this. But, so the circled ones are what I have in my home library. The rest I have been able to find um, at my library so far of the ones that I wanted to check out. So check out your library if uh, you're not in the market for buying any more books or if you don't have anything listed or if you don't feel as if you need the books and you just want the other parts of the curriculum, just pass it on by. But she has this for each week. She has gone through and found some fiction, some nonfiction books for each of the topics. And all the books that we have gone through or used are so sweet and so much fun. The nature connection materials, these will include um, like sometimes for the different weeks, depending um, for the autumn equinox and the apple week, pretty sure for the pumpkin and por uh, corn week, there were recipes. Other times there's crafts and sometimes there's just worksheets. In the nature connection, they will kind of give you an, um, a collection of what you're going to need for 
those crafts or the materials that you're going to need to complete those crafts. It also explains what worksheets are included for each week. There's a different uh, number of worksheets depending on what the topic is. Sometimes there's a life cycle thing. Sometimes uh, there's a display sheet like the birds of prey week. There's several different birds of prey. The apple week, there's several different apples you run into, that sort of thing. So each week is going to have this layout. Each week also has this suggested schedule. So if you're someone who has trouble fitting things in or you like an example schedule of how to spread out your week. This is great. Lindsay does a great job of breaking things up. There's not a whole lot of writing on each day. Uh, she spreads the uh, physical things up, that sort of thing. So this is the poem for the week, Little Mr. Mushroom. And it's really sweet. It's not too long. And then this is the copy work that goes along with it. Just a little piece of the poem itself to utilize as the copy work. My daughter was not old enough to do this yet. Um, as a pre-K kiddo, we were still learning how to write letters and put words together, that sort of thing. But for my son, I just covered this up with a white sheet of paper, made a copy, and then I wrote out in cursive. That's how I utilized the copy work section for our family. And for some families, this isn't going to come into use at all, but the poems are all super sweet and fun. This is the song lyrics that go along with the Spotify playlist that she includes for each of the seasons. This one was really fun and catchy. My kiddos loved singing this song. We just kind of pin this up with, along with the other display sheets, pin this up on our blackboards. This says Little Mushroom Song. This is actually the um, folks, the uh, hand rhyme. She writes out what the movements are for each of the lines, but she also has her YouTube channel where for each of the weeks, for all the seasons, she is demonstrating how you do it. Uh, but it's nice to have it written out too, and the picture is so fun and cute. Here are some of the display sheets she includes for this week. This is the anatomy of the mushroom, and she has the diagrams labeled on this one. And then she also has a blank. So what I did was I made copies of the blank ones, and I put them in a, like a clear folder, and I had a dry erase marker. And for my son, I had him label it. And for my daughter, we sounded out what the first letter should be depending on the sound for what it was when my son told us what each of the anatomy parts were for this. So that's how we utilized it. Obviously you guys can utilize it however you need to for your family. This was the picture for picture study for this week. It's so fun and colorful, really beautiful. And my kids had a fun time trying to recreate this watercolor wise. This is so pretty to pin up. That's what we did is we pin these up around our workspace. But I know a lot of people, they do morning menus or what have you, and they include them in there. So this is actually the activity for the week. It's mushroom spore prints, and she gives a list of materials and also the directions for how to do it. I have to say, I am missing a worksheet. There was this really cool display of several, like seven or eight different kinds of mushrooms, common mushrooms that you find, and uh, some uncommon mushrooms that you would find. And I'm sorry I don't have that to show you. I honestly just realized I was missing it as I was going through this. And I really have no idea where it could possibly be because there's only one place I keep all of this. So what I do, it does come loose like this. There's some people who hole punch it and put it in a binder. There's other people who spiral bind this. I like to keep it loose because I like to take out the pieces for each week and display them um, with some magnets around our little workspace area. To uh, house all of this, what I do is I just, I have one of these big folders like this and I slide it all into here. I've done this with the other season, but I have not this one. I just tab I have tabbed the different weeks so I can pull the whole section out that way. I hope that this was a good example and flip through so that you guys can get a good idea of all that's included with this wonderful curriculum. There's so many pieces. There's so many fun things for young kids to do. I have to say that this has been, it's just so fun and lovely and my little especially gets a kick out of all of this and my son thinks that all of it is so funny. And it allows him to be a little bit silly. Like I said, the songs are fun and silly and catchy. The hand rhymes are fun and silly and catchy. 
and they like doing the art piece that comes along with it. They love the activities. They love the recipes when it includes a recipe. And this is just one of the weeks of so much fun and it's a really cool way to learn each of these topics and to deep dive into them a little bit more without it being really rigorous. This is one week of 13 of the Treehouse Schoolhouse Nature Study the autumn season. All right guys that was the flip through. Thank you so much for joining me uh, for this video and I hope that you guys enjoyed it and you got a good idea of what to expect for the Treehouse Schoolhouse Nature Study. This has been such a wonderful addition to our family time. And both of my kids really, really enjoy doing this. Uh, Lindsay has so much to offer with this curriculum. And me, some of you guys feel like this would be a great addition to your homeschool space as well. Like always, if you guys have any questions about the curriculum or anything that I can answer, uh, about it. I feel free to leave those in the comments down below and I will get back to you about them. Uh, I will link the curriculum in the description box down below and I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.